Sparkum. Is it already time? But like I said, guys, oh my goodness. Mind Freak, he gets another one. Two more Storm to Sight. The Frenzy gets some value, but the trades are a little too quick. The Fangs have been shown, Aserai, and Dubstep all alone with a shorty and some rounds in his headhunter. Well, he's going to have to at least try to make something happen here, but there is Swift Retribution that will be coming as Mind Freak. Very good. These quick takes. Dispenser. Did he turn his back at the right, wrong moment? Yes, he does. Uh. And Mind Freak once again using the telekinesis and the mind reading to absolutely demolish everybody. But Secret, they flip the script, they find a few frags in their names. And Jesse Vash, who has been performing so, so well in this entire stage, also comes alive in the first round of the board for uh, Team Secret. Two rounds, they're going to be back on their weapons. And Dubsteps has to double down anchor on this position of his as the Null Commander was already expended. Wits still has yet to be spotted. And you can see right now that Jesse Bash is just making sure that his value is presented in front and they just get all the broken, but definitely not out of the fight. Paper X to have the post plan. Time is winding down, but Dumpstep is so quick. He finds Forsaken. Once again, Asurai, it doesn't look like this is a round that Paper X should be winning, but what's happening? Secret all alone with Dumpstep. The spectators, the teammates, all on his shoulder, but he has to bow out. This is a very, very extravagant. Um, investment and he will be discovered he's not gonna have any lines of sight but he's gonna have a pretty safe escape for now the zero point is going to barely tag him and i jinxed it man ben at aldrone potentially i think he got disjointed because of austria utility but mind freak once again hampering those supply lines those information lines as he finds yet another initiator and suddenly everything is crumbling on the side of secret the pillars that have made them strong suddenly look like they're made out of sand. But Forsaken cannot hit a shot to save his life right now. Wits! Wits, Wits is a demon! But Jing is an exorcist, sending him back to the depths. Dubstep in a 1v2 situation here against Navai and Jing. Now, both absolutely disgusting in their own right. They double up onto hell. The SEA special, the APAC special. Dubstep, he has to guess but right now. All he can really do is drop down, isolate these fights one by one. But because again, you can see the vibe very much waiting for the peak that he's about to go in on. And the shot just, I think he just sprayed him. No headshot needed. Vash, he's going to get hounded here. If he doesn't get any value, this is going to be bad for him. The C's puts him in his place, but Wits is here. Forsaken and Wits, operator versus operator. But it seems like it's not going to happen. And as the dust settles, it's still a four versus two. Borkum is waiting for them to commit to this fight. But as you can see in the minimap, Jing has already pushed up all the way through the spawn of Team Secret. He's going to give them the access that they need to. Although the Spencer, he's here to start try to stop them. Jing gets the kill. And Borkum gets... Well, he's got himself a Pethora on that playbook of his. But somehow, that was a little bit awkward. It could be another frag here. Dubai... Spots out, flushes out Wits. Dubstep gonna be at the back of things, and that contact actually working in the favor of the Spencer. Throws out the flash. Benkai able to at least survive the fight just now. Dubstep still at the back of things, and he's able to dispense Benkai. This is absolutely perfect. Two versus one. Borkum has a weapon. They can try to pick up something for Dispenser as well, but Jing is always the man to call when you need a Drago for the clutch, but through the smoke, and Wits is way out of no man's land. This has given a lot of more opportunities for Paper X to go elsewhere. The spike is actually down because of Vash, and Ooh. he might be the hero that they need to fight for this play. He's been spotted! Trying to go uh, on to fast lane, unfortunately for Vash. This is gonna put Dispenser in a really, really awkward situation. Forsaken, does he have a trap elsewhere? It is actually outside of market here. Smoke is there, the slow is there. He tries to push through, this is gonna be incredibly awkward. Yep, there it is, the concuss. That's gonna delay him a little bit further. Maybe he can use a fragment, but the refrag potential from both Mind Freak and Forsaken is here, Raf? Just a teeny tiny bit of a peek, and that should be it. Yep. Enough to see teleport and the showstopper here. Is it going to land this time? And yes, oh. it does. Dispenser, the man made out of metal, is going to melt as Jing is going to throw everything at oh. him. Oh! And how is Secret stealing every single thing away from Paper Rex? Mind Freak holds the line here as A once again infested by our dinosaur friends. Team Secret, a suddenly very, very doable uh, 3v2. The Cosmic Divide has been expended, so this this across is going to be that much more perilous. An individual duel has come. That might be the cue for Wits and Dubstep to swing onto Mind Freak. Mind Freak reduces 60 health, and Wits, he has no care in the world. Divide, though, could have the flank of his life. The Flash is here. doesn't blind everybody. The Anti-Flash has been discovered. Dubstep tries to get it in, but no, it's Jesse to finish off the kill. 
and Wits will fit You're closest there. to being the Spencer. And again, they've been longtime teammates. A lot of the chemistry has been made, but Jesse is going to be discovered in the same angle he's fallen from. But maybe, he, just maybe, he's pulled enough attention to Spencer! He doesn't recognize his robot brother, and, and Davai actually takes him out of contention with no questions asked. Now Forsaken cuts off the spawn Ooh. and finds Wits. And Dubstep has taken a very long time to try to get any form of map control here on B. The contact already from Forsaken as he hits the shot, drops the spike. And this is going to turn very messy. That Boombot ooh, barely spots out Borkum here. So maybe there's a chance for him to start getting things started. There was, but now it's all left mm. onto the hands of Dubstep. 22 HP. Forsaken has put himself onto a nice little uh, corner here, but can't really... Amazing, amazing uh, bonus rounds and counter ecos. I know, secret. They're holding strong. They've already found a pick. They found another as well. At least they're finding another here. Oh, actually, no. It's mind freak to get two dispenser. It does get the trade, but Asari, I can't help but feel like this is so incredibly expensive, especially with Forsaken, who loves to swing wide. He is gonna play it close and keep it so so comfortable for him. Finding two. And every single time I say that it's a successful anti eco round or a steal or a bonus. It just seems to apparently happen and come to life. Now, Borkum has a huge flag. He finds the oh. first frag. So many picks go in the way of the opposite team. I am very, very excited how the other maps are going to go. But look at that, the showstopper. But the show must go on as Wits takes absolutely no damage from him. It's actually Jesse Bash to find him with the shock dart. A forsaken, stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't think his uh, rendezvous is available. But Wits has no care in the world finding him. And the vibe stands here. He throws down the... Uh, the the astral cover here. You will hear that orb being taken, but Dispenser, beautiful stuff on that zero point, but Mind Freak sees him crouching down. Dubstep's still playing around. The lack of line of sight. Mind Freak is the last person here, but he'll make a case. Finding Dubstep, removing him from the match, but the, the spike gets all the way towards, but there yeah, he is. This is gonna be bad. Oh. This is one versus one. And look at where Mind Freak is actually looking at. He's looking for the headshot angle, but Bash! His timing he was fight for that uh, stairs position. A little bit of quick scouting, but Jing is here again with a vandal, and he gets two and forsaken. Down, he B. quickly capitalizes on the space being taken, being used, as he finds a Spencer. And six eleven could potentially look like six to twelve as oh, minutes to midnight. It's been winding down. Jesse Vash could potentially die from this still, and from the grave, Jing he reaches and finds a soul of Jesse. Dubstep all alone yet again, but we'll be throw out the smoke. But what can that really do? Jing, I think he might have just been bypassed by Wits. Oh, the trades are just a plenty, but Forsaken has joined in onto the mix. Dust sells a little bit. Mind Freak and Ben Kai to remain. Dispenser will be brought back with that. Null Command is giving him a little bit more access, but Mind Freak and Ben Kai are still here. Oh, Ben Kai's been spotted. Although Mind Freak can actually have himself a nice little shooting gallery. Although Team Secret very much aware of the peek through from heaven. Benkai repositions, does have his haunt to, or rather his prowlers to help him just get a little bit more of a picture on the A site. Nice little off angle from dubstep from the A site altogether. So if they can have a fight right here, right here now, this should be really still good for Paper X in general. Dubai hits a shot. That haunt actually spots out the rest of Team Secret, and this is going oh. to the absolute wayside. Bash, it's all up to him. One from behind. Mind Freak wins Not the fight, and he like will be able to secure this. the game for Paper X. Not like this. What a steal by Paper Rex. And just so apt to use the statistic that Yoro is one of those agents that has the lowest win rate on rank. But I mean, it's a, it's a whole different tool here that players are going to be using. Although, Dubstep not missing a beat this time. He wasn't too good on the chamber. This time, he's going to rise up to the occasion as the Yoro with the double kill. As Paper Rex still managed to get themselves that control onto P Long. But the multi TP could be good. Jeremy on the encounter. Spots out one. Benkai going to be just rushing over, which is good. And he's going to have to either charge this and go against the crossfire. Again, his opponent is going to be on a frenzy. This is actually good for Benkai because he has that ghost. But oh. he's not hitting too many of the lethal shots. Although Borkum's going to get overwhelmed. Benkai is playing this absolutely beautifully. But the Spencer is going to put Jeremy out. Or at least push him out of showers. As he does have one more blast back. But that is a fairly preemptive use of the oh, nade. No. Jing will oblige and get that timing correctly. Now, Borkum is yes, quick yes. on the trade, but Forsaken... Oh, no, a. sir. I don't think you should be here. But Borkum is shredding every single person on that Paper Rex roster. Oh, but Forsaken... And I, maybe potentially they've found or heard the sound spot. But wait a minute. With Borkum getting the 4K onto Benkai, I thought that would have been enough information 
or he has this Vandal, he can really fight against Vash here. Vash will have to tap this. Does he have even a shock dart, a glimmer of something, the recon dart for a bit of that information? But he doesn't know. He doesn't know that helps them straight control outside of showers, after rather inside of showers, as soon as Forsaken pops in his flash. Is that a TP somewhere? Oh. It's actually at the back of Simon and finds two! What a setup for Forsaken! And this gives Paper Rex the round, or rather the site itself. Orkum does get the trade off in the end. Oh, what a shot through the smoke. I might have miscalculated that it could have gotten the round, but that was so decisive from Paper Rex that you might think that it should have. Dubstep is going to be on the contact here coming in through TP. Vash is going to be first on the site itself. There's Benkai as well as the Vi. And Dubstep, no flashes, no hands, no nothing. Uh, I think a flash here, Raph. So, flash, then peek. He saw the barrel Rainfall, first. He's going to get ben the Vi first. He now knows Benkai is on the site. Benkai! What a dancer. Ooh. Just All the way into the spawn. Dumpstep. Now maybe potentially this could be what makes the difference, but the spray, it still goes in the way of Forsaken. And Asari, right, there's just so much sensory overload on the side of Secret. What front is vulnerable? What is safe? As Forsaken has found himself in the smoke, breaking every single rule. And now Paper Rex, they have firm control over B yet again. Oh, they're lining up for him. Forsaken still hits the shot. Dispenser was spotted on through the minimap. They're going to have to try to dispense him first. Take care of him. And that's what they actually really do. Bork, I'm going to be using the orbital strike just to delay them even further. But again, it's 40 seconds, man. They can do whatever they want, and it'll still look good for Paper Racks. Borkum coming through. Elbow here to People's Elbow. Ooh, who's only going to be on the site? We're going to be on the contact left. through Okta here. And maybe he can sneak right in as Jeremy's making a lot of noise. Oh, no. Not knowing that somebody... Anybody getting tagged up on that orbital strike? Absolutely not. But oh Benkai still finds Dispenser for whatever reason. And Jing, he finds Morkum. And this defense, it is looking incredibly fragile, Asurai. I mean, those are just shots that you get to pop when you already know... That is a very plausible threat position, you know, th based oh. through experience. Forsaken is oh. just going to get a freebie on where the rest of Team Secret are. It's like, dude, there's like three of them here. Oh, wow. Fault like to follow up. That's going to slow them even further. And Jing now, he's going to know. And they're not going to know. This is going to be absolutely horrendous for Team Secret. They're not going to know the flank's going to be coming in. Jeremy is very much aware, possibly, of it. Even if he loses oh. to... Uh, even if Jing loses to Jeremy here... He's he's by himself. Four versus one. Dubai just has no fear whatsoever. They're going oh. embracing into the group. Pivotal and Forsaken is an absolute battery. Well, sorry to jinx you, buddy, but Morkum actually finds him and cuts him down to the Spectre here, potentially finding a battle for himself, an upgrade potentially, as Jeremy gets that showstopper into the face of Jing. And now some of the action has Calm down a little bit as Paper X, they make a mad dash. Mm. Now, this is something that I've been really appreciating about Paper X, even if they're feeling really, really good in a matchup. They saw there's a little bit of resistance. They're not forcing the issue. They move away. They go and use all that map control that they took early game. And the investments have been absolutely fantastic. Now, Jesse could potentially be the man of the law, but the Vi is a rule breaker. And he eliminates him from contention now. 3v2. That's going to delay them just a little bit and could... Maybe, just maybe, Jeremy. give them a better fighting chance. Like you said, Jeremy, he's on the prowl. Spike Is he going to knife him? him? I think he might knife him. You he's knife pulling him. it out. Yes! And he makes Jesse Vash proud, but the Vi, this is no time for pride. He raises the stakes. He's low HP, but Jeremy's the hero. And he... Obvious thing, right? They've been blistering <gasps> these fights so, so well, but WZ gets forsaken as Mind Freak gets a trade. But Jesse, he gets quelled down by Jing as well. And like I said, every single time, Secret look like they have the advantage. Paper X are so, so quick on that counter hook, on that counter jab. And Benkai even finds Morkum in the murder hole. They dump utility towards it. And CT is going to be delayed that much more as Dispenser. He finally uses that lockdown. Are we going to see some value out of it? And Jing, you can tell that he really wants to get rid of it. But Dispenser gets rid of him instead, equalizing the field once more. But this is a plant really, really precarious because they can still double swing. Jeremy, it looks like he should have to find a little bit more contact. The nade is going to come, maybe potentially sh shutting off elbow. But he cannot dodge the rolling thunder Asurai as Mind Freak. And Benkai, they patiently wait. They've set the trap. Who is going to fall into it first? Dispenser has to delay this, but no, they go for the big, big screw. I feel like Fracture is going to be just even more, just worse for uh, 
for Team Secret to deal with against Paper Rex. Jeremy going to be in a fight against the Vi. What reaction error from him? He just saw his peak and immediately thought it was going to be the straight wide swing. It was. The Spencer not going to get spotted by the Roomba. Tries to get in a little bit closer. Be a bit cheeky, but it's not going to work when Paper Rex are all about the contact and refrag. Now... As the dust settles once again, as we take a bit of a quiet before the next part of the storm, Dubstep mm -hmm. and Borkum are the ones to remain. And look at where Forsaken is already at. Dubstep, pressure is on. Fight he was looking towards eight. short, but Forsaken has already gone and wrapped all the way around. What's kind of interesting about this one, too, is that I think Borkum and Forsaken might have just, uh, just gone through apart from each other. Look to take things to incredible lengths to make this as uncomfortable for Secret. And Forsaken, despite missing a first shot, gets the recovery onto Jeremy. Now the space being taken here. They're completely oh! blind! And they get shredded! They get tossed into the meat grinder! As for and they see victory. They can taste it. They can smell it. They have it at their palm of the hands. Oh, and Forsaken, no. he slaps Jeremy in the face with Buckshot. And he is pushing forward, giving Mind Freak the space to catch Dispenser. And this is looking so heartbreaking on the side of Secret. But Borkum keeps it alive. Mind Freak, he will have no qualms of being the nightmare on Short Street. As we are left with Dubstep and Jesse Vash. Ice Cold Jesse, if you can hear the call, this is the time to answer it. Dubstep is about to swing on to my freak. No, he was setting up the smoke. What was that? Jesse Bash is now down to 19 HP. They know where he is. They know how much damage he's taken. He'll be able to pick up the spike. He'll be able to throw out a recon dart, but this is three people. My God. Oh, and they're about to swing on him. They're just about to swing.